Hey everybody, it's Miss Kirby. I wanted to remind you of our digraph dances. Now, for anybody who doesn't remember, a digraph is when we have two letters that together make one sound. Two consonant letters, not vowels, but a consonant and a consonant that together make one sound. And remember that for all of our dance moves that help us remember the key word, they're all going to start with a kind of dance move that shows that letter in some way, that beginning letter. Not both letters, but at least the beginning one so we can remember which one is a CH versus an SH versus a TH. Um, so we'll try and outline how that dance move goes along with that letter. So we'll go here. Our first digraph is CH. Now for our CH dance move, we're going to make a C with our hand. I don't know if this is right for you or backwards, but I'll do it this way. C H chin ch. C H chin ch. Our next one, we're going to skip our C K. Our C K doesn't get a dance move. It's not at the beginning of a word. We only use our C K at the end of a word. Our keyword is sock, and we hear that at the end, but we don't have a dance move. We only have dance moves for ones that are at the beginning of the word. Our Q U. Our Q U is interesting because even though a Q is a consonant, a U is usually a vowel. But when it's there to help its buddy Q to be part of that digraph, it doesn't get to make its vowel sound, and we still need another vowel in that word. It's not going to get to be the vowel. So our Q U is still a digraph, and our dance move. We're going to take our hands, make kind of a capital Q circle with a line coming down in some way. Q U Queen Qu Q U Queen Qu. Our next one is our S H, and for our S, our S is a squiggly line, and we are going to make a squiggly line to the side with our hand, and we're going to make S H ship S H ship. Our next one is T H for our T H. We're going to take our hands and we're going to make a T with them. And the reason we're going to use these fingers is because they are our thumbs, and that's our key word. So T H thumb, T H thumb. Th. Now remember, our T H can make a sound like in the word the, but that's not its regular sound. Usually we want to use that T H thumb. Th. Lots of air, almost like an F, but a, where your thumb comes through your teeth just a little bit. And then our last digraph is our WH. And our WH, we're going to take three fingers and make kind of a W. Do, 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 do. With our three fingers, we're going to say WH, whistle, whoop. WH, whistle, whoop. And remember, our WH makes the same sound as a W. Both WH and W make a whoop sound, or WH can make a whoop, but that's kind of a more old fashioned way of saying that digraph. So we just use whoop. And if you're spelling and making a whoop sound, it's probably just a W, but it's good to know sometimes it'll be a WH, especially in question words. When, where, what, I'll start with that whoop, the WH. So one last time, I'm gonna go through our digraph dance moves. I'm gonna skip over our CK, because it doesn't get a dance move, it's at the end of a word, but the rest of them I will do. So, C H chin, ch, Q U, queen, qu. S H ship T H thumb and W H whistle what practice those and you'll be good to go. Bye.